Ian Poulter is a pro golfer who has done well on the course and loves showing off his huge car collection. His garage has some of the most expensive and luxurious cars on the market today, like Ferraris and Bentleys. When you see this amazing collection, you won't believe your eyes. Keep watching as we give you an inside look at Ian's luxurious life in finance and all of his shiny cars. Early Life and Career Ian Poulter is a famous golfer with many accomplishments, including his Ryder Cup heroics. Poulter was born on January 10, 1976 in Hitchin, Hertfordshire, England. He turned professional in 1996 and has since won 12 events on the European Tour and three on the PGA Tour. He has also been a member of five Ryder Cup teams, most famously helping Europe to victory in 2012 with several clutch performances. The Ryder Cup is golf's greatest show. The biennial clash between Europe and the USA never fails to produce memorable moments and matches for the ages. In addition to his Ryder Cup heroics, Poulter is known for his stylish clothing and million dollar smile. He's one of the most popular golfers on tour and has a large following on social media. With his strong play and colorful personality, Ian Poulter is one of the most recognizable names in golf. Ian Poulter's Car Collection Ian currently earns $26 million from golf alone each year, which puts him ahead of other high-profile players like Tiger Woods or Jack Nicholas. Because of this, he can afford his luxurious hobby for cars. Poulter is a big fan of Italian luxury cars, particularly Ferrari. He's even built a car museum at his mansion in Florida. Though you can't visit the museum, Poulter regularly posts pictures and videos of his collection online. In addition to Ferrari, Poulter is also an ambassador for Mercedes-Benz. He often drives different models of Mercedes cars to golf tour events. 2002 Ferrari Enzo Poulter was one of the lucky few who got their hands on a rare limited edition model named after founder Ferrari. The Enzo is powered by F1 technology and has automated transmission shift gears, so you don't have to worry about changing them yourself. With a 6-liter Hatfield V12 engine producing 650 brake horsepower, it can sprint towards 100 kilometers an hour, that's 62 miles per hour, in just over 3 seconds, without much difficulty, even if that's not enough speed for some people. 1966 Ferrari 275 GTB 4 Poulter admires Ferraris not merely for their speed but also their legendary status in popular culture. Only 330 Ferrari 275 GTB 4Ss were constructed, making it one of the rarest and most valuable vehicles. One of these vehicles fetched $3.08 million at an auction in 2020 making it the highest price ever paid for a vehicle sold via the internet. Originally painted yellow, Poulter had MPI Ferrari return his 275 GTB to its silver factory finish. Painstaking as it may have been, the result is a stunning and quite expensive classic automobile. 1986 Ferrari Testarossa Perhaps Poulter wanted to experience what it was like to be a character on the hit 1980s TV show Miami Vice. If Poulter gets tired of his neighborhood in Florida, he can always pack up and head to Miami for some sun and sand. Although it is an exotic vehicle, the Ferrari Testarossa is not the most expensive in Poulter's collection, and savvy car buyers may locate bargain price examples for well under $100,000. In an interview with GQ, Poulter revealed that he had given his father a spin in his new Testarossa because it is one of the latter's favorite vehicles. Also, Poulter said he hadn't driven the Ferrari since he put it in the garage with his other Ferraris. My dad loved this Ferrari back in the day. It was his favorite. He couldn't afford one, so I went ahead and bought one. He's only driven it 804 miles, but he absolutely loves it. 2012 Ferrari FF If Poulter had driven one of his previous Ferraris, he could have had trouble stowing his golf clubs in the trunk, a common complaint among golfers. Nonetheless, his 2012 Ferrari FF might be the workable prancing horse he dreams of. The FF has plenty of room thanks to a large, sturdy trunk. The Ferrari FF is a powerful and practical hatchback thanks to its V12 engine, which produces 650 horsepower. While it may have been a dream car for a golfer, the Ferrari FF ultimately 
could not achieve the commercial success that its Italian maker had envisioned, and production was halted in 2016. Poulter had the first American-built Ferrari FF because of his close contact with the company. 2016 Ferrari La Ferrari Aperta Poulter made sure he was one of the privileged few to own one of the 210 La Ferrari Aperta produced by the renowned Italian manufacturer. The latest Ferrari supercar was in high demand. Therefore, only Ferrari's most loyal customers were given a chance to purchase one. Poulter was added because of his vast collection of Ferraris. In an interview with GQ, he remarked on the positive nature of his ties to the manufacturer and expressed his desire for them to endure. It isn't easy to set a price on a car like this because there are so few available, but Sotheby's will be auctioning off one in 2020 for between $4.5 and $5.5 million. The specialized Ferrari has a 6.3-liter V12 engine that can generate 950 horsepower. The fastest car in Poulter's collection can go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds. The Porsche GT3 Poulter added another accolade to his resume with the purchase of a Porsche GT3. The GT3 is a coveted sports car that's known for its high performance capabilities on and off the track. It's no surprise that Poulter was drawn to this vehicle. As a professional golfer, he knows the importance of having a car that can keep up with his fast-paced lifestyle. Since purchasing the GT3, Poulter has enjoyed taking it out for drives on winding roads and testing its limits at racetracks. Poulter is clearly proud of his new GT3 and with good reason. This car represents everything he loves about speed and performance, and it's sure to help him continue his winning ways on the golf course. Bugatti Ian Poulter also owns a Bugatti Veyron, a supercar that can fetch a price tag of over $1 million. In any auto enthusiast collection, it would be a jewel. This particular Bugatti Veyron is equipped with a powerful 8-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine, which allows the car to sprint from 0 to 60 in just 2.5 seconds and onto a top speed of 253 miles per hour. As the world's fastest production car at the time, this vehicle won the title of Car of the Decade from Guinness World Records 2016. Just 450 were ever made until it was phased out in favor of the Bugatti Chiron in 2016. Ford The Ford GT is a mid-engined, two-seater sports car that was manufactured by Ford in 2005. It has a 5.4-liter supercharged Ford modular V8 engine and is capable of accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds. It has a top speed of 205 miles per hour and is sold at auction for as high as $575,000. Barchetta In 2000, Ferrari debuted the 550 Barchetta Pininfarina as a limited edition roadster. With only 448 examples being built, the 550 is a two-seat grand touring automobile rather than a sports car. In 2002, the 550 Barchetta was discontinued in favor of the newer and more luxurious 575M Marinello. The 550 has a 5.0-liter Tipo F133 AC V12 engine and a six-speed manual transmission, allowing it to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds. Its top speed is 199 miles per hour, and it is front-engine, rear-wheel drive. In 2002, Ferrari discontinued production of the 550 and introduced the improved 575M Marinello in its place. Mercedes-AMG GT63 Ian Poulter uses a Mercedes-AMG GTS as his primary vehicle. We don't blame him. It's stylish and comfortable. The AMG GTS is a high-end sports car. The AMG GTS draws attention everywhere it goes, thanks to its V-shaped grille and svelte lines. In interviews, Ian Poulter has expressed his passion for being able to get in his car and drive away without having to give anything else a second thought. And it's clear to us why. The AMG GTS is the ideal vehicle for individuals who want to enjoy driving without any other concerns. Porsche 911 GT Additionally, Ian Poulter owns a Porsche 911 GT, but this isn't your typical Porsche. The popular sports automobile has been modified for racing, and the 911 GT is a track-focused variant of that vehicle. The 911 GT has enough speed for many serious car enthusiasts, reaching a top speed of 190 miles per hour, while maintaining a surprisingly high level of comfort for a race car. 
Poulter's Ferrari collection is one of the most impressive in the world. From the rare 275 GTB4 to the practical FF, Poulter has a Ferrari for every occasion. His passion for Ferraris is evident in his close ties to the company and his desire to own the best of the best. Do you want to see more of the best? You gotta click on this video right here. Rory McIlroy's luxurious rich lifestyle. Did you know this guy owns his own private jet? That's just insane. We are quite jealous. Just click the video now. You don't want to miss it.